So when you buy crystals um, at any store, or if you're mining them, or if you get it as a gift, um, it's best that you cleanse and charge your crystal. That way it can be it leveled out with your energy and kind of know what it's working for, and you can put an intent on it so that it can show you its true potential. The basic way to cleanse all stones is to get in a glass bowl of water, and you could sit the stones right inside. So you can put um, all, all the stones, especially tumble stones, you can put right inside of the water and let them sit for as long as you intuitive feel they need cleansing for. Um, so you can leave them in there for a few minutes, you can leave them in there for a few hours, or sometimes I make it a whole day thing. After they're done sitting in some water, you can put them uh, outside to either charge in the sunlight or in the moonlight. The sunlight they have has different energy than the moonlight, so it depends on what kind of energy you want to bring into your life that that's where you will be putting your crystals in. So the sunlight has more of a masculine energy. It has more of an outgoing kind of uh, uh, pushing uh, towards uh, you know new beginnings, that kind of thing. That's what the sun kind of promotes. Then the moon brings in the nurturing, self-healing, uh, motherly type of energy. So it depends on how you want to charge your crystals that it could also work in bettering uh, in areas where you feel that you need to improve on energetically. There are so many other ways that you can cleanse and charge your stones. Um, I'll just name a few. So you can actually put stones inside of any pots where you have plants. So that helps because they're back in Mother Earth. That helps to cleanse and charge them up as well. Um, you can put them outside in the rain. You can take them to the beach with you. Um, anywhere where you know nature is associated, that helps to cleanse and charge your stones. Um, you can also use a smudging stick. So things like sage, Palo Santo, um, uh, rosemary, you can burn those around your crystal uh, to, to cleanse and charge it. You can also use bigger crystals to charge your smaller stones. Crystals like selenite or any type of cluster, if you sit your stones on top or next to those, th those stones, it helps to recharge them up as well. We have more classes on crystals here at HOI TV.